What's up everyone, today we are live with another brand new GitHub Actions video. In today's video, we'll be talking about building and pushing container images to GitHub packages. In another way, we call it GitHub Container Registry. So in today's video, we'll be talking about Podman. First of all, we're gonna look into Podman. So we'll try to understand what actually Podman is, what problem does it solve. Briefly, we'll be discussing about that. And here, I will be also talking about GitHub Actions. So in our previous video, if you have seen my videos, you can see here is the branch. And in here, we have written this workflow. So we basically use Docker command to build and push our Django image to this particular location, the GitHub container registry. So in today's video, instead of using Docker, we are going to be using Podman. So let's take a look quickly what Podman is and what problem does it solve. Podman is a utility provided as part of the libpod library and it can be used to create and maintain containers. The full name is basically pod manager. So it's a tool for managing containers and images, volumes mounted into those containers and parts made from group of containers. Podman doesn't really use any daemon. This is one thing Podman actually solves because Docker runs with daemon. That's why it needs privileged access rights. The other thing actually it does, Podman actually runs as a rootless and Docker actually needs root privileges. Of course, you can run also Docker rootless. There's also possibility, but Podman has the advantage already. So by default, it doesn't need root privileges, neither it has, a, it has any kinds of daemon. So this is basically the advantage. So here is a page. So if you just write Podman versus Docker, you're gonna see basically more or less the main differences between the two. In today's video, we'll be using Podman instead of Docker. The same thing we are going to be achieving. There is a project came from Red Hat. This basically runs on Linux based systems. It doesn't run on Windows as far as I remember. This particular machine, so basically this machine is maintained and provided by GitHub. So GitHub actually pre-installs Podman into this machine. But if you are using self-hosted self -hosted runner, so GitHub runner basically, that's a your computer is used basically to run the workload. So then you need to install Podman. Without that, if you're running Podman, it's not gonna work, okay? Without, so this is the branch I had in here. Actually, I'm not gonna edit from the browser. I will be using the editor instead. I'm gonna basically, let's put the name to container image. I'm gonna still use the same stuff, more or less the branch name I'm not gonna change. Let's call it container. Um, I have this search here. And we're gonna still use this. And here we have created a token and that token requires this write permission to upload the Django image to GitHub container registry. So this is the part we would need because we want to check out our repository. And here guys, I showed you, if I go to my page, you would see the content right there. And here I have got the playlist. And this playlist has a couple of videos right there. So if you go here, you would be able to see how to create tokens. I have already showed you multiple times. So today I'm going to be skipping, showing how to create a token. Let's jump in here because we want to use Podman. So first of all, we could just replace this. And this one actually we could call because there is, so this is the variable I could actually use. There is predefined variable for it. This is the one we talked about, the path token, you need to generate it. So second thing we're gonna do, this Podman, let me get this one replaced and then this one replaced. So instead of using Docker, we are going to be using Podman. Everything else remains as it is. If you want to use variable, let's say for this one, that's also fine, you could actually use it. And let me call it Podman Django. Maybe that should be fine for us. And what we are doing currently here, we are actually logging to this particular registry. So we are using the path token and we are using the username for it. The second thing we are doing, we are building the image and in here we are using the tag and we are saying that, okay, tag this image by this name. So basically this is the username of my GitHub repository and here is the registry address, okay? And then you just give it a name, the name of the image and this is the, basically the tag. So instead of doing this, we could also do this. I actually 
GitHub and then SHA. We could just use this and here you could also do the other variable. So variable is going to be GitHub repository. You can actually, this is going to be owner, not the user. So repository owner, you could actually, if you wanted, you could actually use this, right? This is also possible. Could actually do that as well. So I could call it GitHub um, registry. Maybe this is fine. I could actually call this, let's create any space. And instead of this, I could basically say env.registry and let's close the curly braces. I could copy the same thing right here. There's also a possibility. And this can be also changed. I could basically use this particular variable as well. This is also possible. And then this is the tag name. So we basically need to change this to this because this has to match. So just like that, we have built the image and this is the tag name and the exact name I need to pass right here because the push command required that. So it has to match. So this seems like this looks really good. And here, what we are doing, this is the tag name. And then after that, we are saying that where is the Docker file. So Docker file basically, if you look into this dot GitHub from here, basically in Django, and from there to web app, and then you can see Docker file. And here is our context. So basically, where is our source code for our application? So our application source code basically under this particular directory. So if you put it wrong, then it's not going to be able to build your image. So you need to put the context path correct, otherwise it's not gonna work. So what I want to show you is basically this. So if you go to this particular location, you are going to be able to see all these predefined variables that you could basically use. So if you have noticed, I use, this is one, you could actually use GitHub Actor as well. And the one actually I used, let me look for this. So GitHub repository owner, so this is the one. Repository owner is going to be the, the repository owner's name. So that's basically correct. Right, everything seems to be okay. Commit minus am, build and push container image and now if I push the changes to the branch go back to the branch and this is our branch now the pipeline is basically triggered so if everything goes through we should be able to see our packages so this should not take actually much time should be done under a minute so it seems like it's like 28 seconds so it seems like this has been actually successfully successfully passed actually this image is already uploaded so we could go to the packages and in here we can see two more packages so this is the django image this is the docker pull command so by default github is not going to be telling you hey you do podman pull github is basically going to put docker it doesn't use by default podman that's why you see it if you just wondered hey we used podman why github is actually using docker this is the thing i wanted to show you guys for today's video i hope you find this video useful if you find it useful give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to the channel and this is how you can support me thank you everyone and uh, talk to you soon bye bye take care